टुपुल में हुए भयानक भूस्खलन के पीछे क्या वजह हो सकती है क्या सिर्फ बारिश की वजह से ही भूस्खलन हुआ या फिर इसके पीछे कोई और वजह भी है हमारे संवाददाता शरद चंद्र ने मणिपुर यूनिवर्सिटी के भूगोल विभाग के प्रोफेसर एन देवा सिंह से इस सिलसिले में बातचीत की प्रोफेसर एन देवा सिंह के मुताबिक इस त्रासदी के पीछे कई वजह हो सकती है हालांकि उन्होंने लैंडस्लाइड की सबसे प्रमुख वजह भारी बारिश को ही बताया है उन्होंने कहा कि नोने का तुफुल इलाका दक्षिण पश्चिम मानसून के अधीन आता है जिस वजह से यहाँ भारी बारिश होती है दूसरी वजह उन्होंने लंबे समय से वनस्पति से मिट्टी का संपर्क न होना भी बताया है जिससे लगातार बारिश की वजह से अचानक भूस्खलन की संभावना अधिक रहती है वहीं उनके मुताबिक तीसरी वजह भूकंप के हल्के झटके हो सकते हैं जो इंसानों को महसूस नहीं होते लेकिन भयानक भूस्खलन की वजह बन सकते हैं आइए आपको सुनाते हैं With me is Professor N. Dev Singh, Department of Geography, Manipur University. Uh, sir, uh, just my simple question is, what could be the reason behind the uh, Tupul massive landslide? Is it due to the heavy rainfall, or is it any kind of influence of uh, geo environmental factor? There may be many factors. You see, uh, geo environmental factors means you see the structurally there may be weak. You know that. Uh, geological uh, matters, I mean to say. And then uh, there is a slope concern, and then it may be a land use type, because uh, projects is continuing, and people who are there, who are there, they have, you know, that do, uh, they have done agriculture work, and, and uh, soil, other things exposed, and are not, I mean, to take visitations of the area. You see the points. Then, most important is more rainfall than other part because of southwest monsoons during the season. So then another point is that I should say that how far it is true, I don't know. We have to see the record. If there is a minor tremor, that means uh, the earthquake, you know that uh, we may not feel that a minor tremor, but simultaneously, if, it is, if, the, if the tremor was there, then could be the one of the factor to contribute to this. So these factors might be responsible of that. There's again questions because of rain, the, the rivers flowing down, now there may be erosions of that. So people are talking about the two erosion, this and that. Naturally, if it's so, then from above, there'll be gravity, you know that. So CPS will develop and then, uh, then landslide may occur. Is the construction is on at the Tupul side for the construction of this uh, uh, railway station as well as the tunnel. Uh, we witnessed the movement of uh, heavy machinery like excavator uh, from medium size to very heavy size. So it, can can it be a, a kind of contribution to the uh, the shaking or any kind of uh, uh, this uh, very mild tremor at the area? If there is a uh, toe erosion, you know, at, a, at a, the lower uh, uh, reach, if there's erosion, and then, then in the middle part, the project is going on, the movement of the vehicle and other things, and then rainfalls occurs, and then maybe CPS develop on the upper side, then simultaneously it may contribute. So movement of the vehicle and exposition of the rock, I tell you that, project work, widening of the road, certainly, you know, that all these things will contribute to have such kind of tragedy. Uh, yeah, this is the professor and Devo Singh, uh, who is the uh, who is the professor in the this uh, geography department, Manipur University. According to him, so far as the massive landslide that occurred in Tupul area, it could be of uh, multiple uh, multiple reason. One important reason is heavy rainfall. Uh, another reason is the uh, the mild tremor, which human being could not feel, but such thing also can trigger such kind of massive landslide. With video journalist Rosen, this is Sarah Chandra reporting for Not Live from Impal.